Hi guys! We are back today with another episode of our top fives. Today we are doing meet and greets. Um, mm -hmm. So any any meet and greets on property, um, we're going to be telling you guys our favorites and why. We've done a lot of them. We have. <laughs> we've, we've done mostly like non-face characters, but we have done a few face characters more, more recently. Yeah. So. Um, so we'll start, start with number five. What's your, what's your number five? My number five is a classic Mickey and Minnie meet and greet. The, was it the one that we went to go when they were dressed up in their party? Their birthday? Just, oh. just in general, but that one was extra special for the, for Mickey's uh, 90th celebration plus i don't think that the two those of them, outfits were really cute they were so cute but i also don't think that they really meet and greet together a whole lot no they because now at um now where they meet or where, where they did meet it's just mickey again yeah so that was very special it's just i feel like this has to be in a top five because it it's just the whole, uh, the whole essence of uh, Disney. Yeah. Um, it's uh, Walt's character. It's he's the head honcho. So the big cheese. The, <laughs> he's, he's the big cheese. So it's just fun interacting uh, 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 with them, even though obviously they don't talk they're still very good at interacting so yeah. so that's my number five spot my number five is sorcerer mickey okay. i i mean well sorcerer mickey is also a meet and greet with like minnie who's dressed up um i don't like that one as much as sorcerer mickey so i'm just saying sorcerer mickey mm -hmm. um but when you like turn that corner and you go and you see him he's in like he's in his little what is it like not like a layer but like <laughs> kind of a layer kind of a layer um but it's, it's like a study <laughs> yeah but it is so cool you can see like he has his brooms and he's dressed he's dressed in his red robe and it's just it's so cool his little spots. yeah like you don't you don't get to see that Nah, and he's he, really like, cool. Like you see it in Fantasmic, you see him dressed in that outfit in Fantasmic, but you don't see it. You don't get to see it anywhere else. So getting getting to go and see him in a meet and greet is really cool. Yeah. What's your number four? Uh, uh, I wish I had thought of that one. <laughs> yeah, four Stitch. Oh, I didn't think of Stitch. Stitch is so much fun to go see. Another character who is not a face character, but he has some of the funniest interactions. I think Stitch is one of the most physical characters. He does the most. He, he's very goofy. He likes to play around. So yeah, like I he's so much fun to go I see. I remember when we went to meet so him. Hard. Well, <laughs> um. When we went to go and meet him, you you would go up and you'd give him a hug, and in your ear you hear him going, yeah. like he was giving you kisses. And I just think that's so funny. Like I don't know, like hearing that in your ear, you're just like, whoa. Yeah. So Stitch is a lot of fun to go see. Yeah. I highly recommend it. He's not out all the time, so you gotta be on your app and see what times he's out there yes. in uh, Tomorrowland. Yeah. So. Um, so my number four is Anastasia and Drizella. Four? Uh, yes. Okay. I, we went to go see them a couple years ago. It was so awesome. They were so funny. I love them. They were just kind of like harping, like they were just like giving us a hard time. And like, <laughs> <laughs> just like the way that they are. I, I just think it's so funny. Um. Their was, costumes are wicked cool, too. Yeah, their costumes were awesome. Um, but they were just a lot of fun. It was really funny. And they took the time. They spent, like, five minutes talking to us. We were closer yeah. to the back of the line. Um, and so, like, they took the time 
to chat with us for a long time mm -hmm. um it was it was really awesome it was probably one of the most like personable um or like uh, yeah. yeah yeah like the most personable um meet and greet that we've had like because usually it's just like hey snap a picture and you gotta go because there's a huge line behind you right so this one was really special where we got to take our time and we got to chat with them um and yeah, that's why it's my favorite. Just how fun they are, and plus just the experience that we've had with them. It made it really True. special. Yeah. So let's go to number three. Yeah. My number three was Mad Hatter. Oh! Yeah. So we've... The easiest spot to see the Mad Hatter is at the 1900 Park Fair uh, uh, Character Breakfast, which is at the Grand Florida. <laughs> The Grand Floridian. Okay. So, um, he's extremely funny. He, he like personalizes a, a pose for each picture and it, he's just very quick. He's so, he is, so he is a face character. Um, and he's, I just think he's hilarious. Um, he takes plenty of time too it he, he's like a rushed character already but he doesn't make it feel rushed yeah if you get it um he's just uh, really funny so that's a fairly new character a uh, meet and greet for us but he he brought it so yeah so he's my number three <laughs> um my number three is Dinosaur Chip and Dale. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are in <laughs> Dino USA. I should have expected that. They're in Dino Land. Um, Animal I, Kingdom. At Animal Kingdom, yes. Um, I love them. I think they are so stinking cute. They are cute. Um, we had, I think, like our the our interaction was like so cute though like they just like came over to us and gave us such big hugs yeah. and we don't we've never before that we never really met chippendale um and so like being able to meet them in like cute little dinosaur costumes i thought that was so fun and so yeah. unique to dino land yeah those um, are really cool costumes yeah i like those and that's what i like i like unique character meet and greets like something that you can only find at one place yeah um it was it was so cute though i loved that i think like i always i always think of that when i think of meet and greets now just because of how unique it was that's a good one too. thanks but yeah i loved that one yeah. um yeah so, let's so let's go to number you number number two now yeah number two my number two is uh gaston he's funny too um he's either very flirty or he's very like coming at you with some sarcastic comment remark, yeah. remark comment um and he takes plenty of time too he i feel like he's one of the best face characters to s stay in character with everything he says like, what I mean by that is he brings things back to the story of Beauty and the Beast a lot, too. Yeah. So, uh, I think he's a really good uh, a face character in that aspect. Yeah. They also don't let that line get really long because they know how popular it is. So, they keep the line short. Yeah, it's hard to get there. Yeah, they keep the line short. And that I think that's what helps it be such a... Like, they take so much time on everyone um, because the line mm -hmm. is short. I think that when the characters, when they see that there's such a long line, it's not as personable. I think that the characters notice, oh, man, I got a really long line. Like, got to gotta pick up the pace a little bit. Um, but with the lines being so short, it makes yeah. it more memorable and it makes it more personable. So, yeah. So, so, uh, so what's your number two? My number two is... Donaldo and the Great Goofini. Um, that's at the circus tent. Um, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> okay. That's at the circus tent in the back of um, 
New Fantasyland, kind mm -hmm. of, kind of near Dumbo and stuff. It's way back there um, at Magic Kingdom. Um, I think, like I said before, same with um, Ch Dino Chip and Dale. It's so unique. Yeah. You can't find them dressed in these costumes anywhere else. Um, the Great Goofini, he's like in a. It's kind of like a circus feel. Um, and so he is dressed in like a motorcycle motorcycle outfit, and he's the one who um, who s does the motorcycle in the metal cage, like the metal ball. Yeah. Um, so like behind him, you can see like his crashed motorcycle, and like it's really cool. I like that one. Um, and then Donaldo, he's like a mind reader, um, so he's dressed in like a fortune teller's outfit kind of thing, um, and I. I love Donald Duck. Any any Donald Duck I love, but that one was Mexican so... Mexican Donald. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I thought that yeah. this one was just so cool. Like, the background, like, the backdrop for the character photos and just their outfits, I just loved it. And plus, even with these characters, like, the lines were kind of long, but I think it was long because the characters take the time. They take the time to have a good moment with everyone. It's worth it. Yeah, I don't... I think every character meet and greet is worth it because it's just... It's the experience. Yeah. So. Well, plus when you go into the circus tent, there's two sides. There's Minnie and Daisy on one side, and you get to meet them both. And then on the other side, it's Goofy and Donald. And so we got to meet both of them, but we stood in one line. Like, we waited yeah. for both of them, which I think is good, like... If you're concerned about your wait times and stuff like that, I think that that's a good, um, I don't know, I think that that's a good deal <laughs> for the wait time that you have to wait. Yeah, like if you think about it in those terms, then... Two for the price of one. <laughs> say, uh, say that you wait 30 minutes for, for, for two characters. It's like 15 each, so... Yeah, so it's not that bad, but I just think that the characters i just love love how unique they are yeah so let's go to our number ones okay mine was anastasia and drizella you I, loved them I, I, oh i had a ball with them and <laughs> especially anastasia like they drizella took you to the side anastasia took me to the side and we basically had our own, own conversations too, and she loved me because we were both uh, uh, redheads. So, yeah. But again, a, a very personable uh, uh, meet and greet. A lot of fun. That they're very sassy, very s sarcastic, and fun. So, yeah. so that was my favorite one I've ever done. <laughs> so, so my number one. It isn't like wait in a line kind of a meet and greet. I think I just kind of got lucky with it. I have no idea what this is. But it's so memorable. Like I almost cried after I met this character. Um, but it's not your normal character meet and greet. So it is. Is this with me? Yep. So it is Br'er Rabbit. <laughs> so like I said, it's story time. It's not. It's not a normal meet and greet. You can't. You can't wait in a line and go meet Brer Rabbit. There's no meet and greets for him. But every so often in Frontierland at Magic Kingdom, they have these like, like a hoedown kind of thing, um, where all the cast members come out and there's a bunch of characters that come out and they're like they, the country bears. And... Yeah, yeah. And then like there's Brer Bear and Brer Fox, Brer Rabbit. Um, they all come out and they do like a dance and they have um, like guests can dance too. <laughs> and so I, I love Br'er Rabbit. Probably my favorite, my favorite character. Like I'm. Are you crying? No. Oh. <laughs> um, I am like I'm obsessed with him. Obsessed with Br'er Rabbit. And so I saw him, and after the dance, I like ran up behind him. <laughs> she chased him. I wanted a picture so bad, and so like they were so nice they were nice enough to let me take a picture with him and it just like made my made my day made my week made my month like it made my year it was like i was just like where'd jenny go i just like booked it down the i was i think i was you were just sitting eating a dole whip eating the dole whip <laughs> and i saw her doing the uh, the dance 
with them, and then I, I take a bite, and then I, I look back up, and I'm like, where did she go? And she bolts, and she chased down the, the rabbit, so. But it was, like, so worth it. Um, it's a memory that I'll, I'll always have. I've always wanted a picture a with him. Good one. I've always wanted a picture with him because I've never, like, there's no way to get a picture with him usually. So I saw my moment and I went and I took it. Yeah. <laughs> I took my, I just shoot my shot. Yeah, so. <laughs> so those are our top five character meet and greets. Um, Let us know in the comments what your favorites are. We want to know yeah. what you guys think. If you guys agree with our lists or you guys have different favorites, let us know. And uh, uh, next up, we'll be talking about our favorite rides and all our favorite foods. So, so yeah, until our next video, we will see you real soon.